Chairman break here today out in the uh, Frozen Challenge, shooting as many uh, calibers and rounds as I can over the next four, five, six months. Uh, basically to learn as much as I can about various calibers and uh, improve my knowledge. Um, I continue to find that I can learn more each and every day. And um, I found that by doing different triggers, different chassis, different stocks, different optics, different uh, bullets, uh, powders, that I actually learn a little bit each time that I do something like that. I've been shooting for a long time, but I didn't have the collective knowledge to really add to it. So today, shooting 7300. Uh, this barrel's got about 14, 1500 rounds on it, and um, it's a Bartland 1875 twist, and it is 300 Win Mag neck down to 7 millimeter 284. And I'll show you that reloading uh, and how I would put together these loads today. Uh, now. Okay, so I use uh, nozzle brass, and this is just 300 wind mag nozzle brass, and fully prepped, ready to load, it says on the box. I've had a difficult time getting it. I've used Hornady and haven't had as much luck, and even this box came torn when I finally got a back order last year after about six months. Um, this is a reloading die from Redding, 7mm 300 from the Custom Series. Um, I believe I've seen them on their website. Um, actually, it came from my gunsmith when I got it. And so then you take the die, and I put a little bit of Imperial Sizing Wax on it, which I highly recommend. Um, it goes a very long way, and it just is very smooth, feels very good. Um, and I've used another, a number of other products. And like that best. Anyways, you put it in your full-length sizing die, not a bushing die. Come up slowly. I usually do that twice. Obviously, I had this set, preset. And there you go. It has downsized the neck to... 7 millimeter or 284 from 300 wind mag 300 and then I run it through my deburr. I have a VLD deburr here. I have a standard size or standard deburr here. This is my uh, trim mate from RCBS. I run it very wet gently. Usually doesn't take much and then I run it through my, my chamfer. What I've found with the way the full length size die works is if your brass has any inconsistencies in the in the in the way that uh, uh, it's made Oftentimes I'll get a little bit of an angled neck here, and oftentimes I don't get any. It's just kind of totally random. I used to think it was the die, and it turned out it just happened to be the brass. And it actually varies based on the, the way the uh, brass um, resizes. So there you go. Now they're ready to be primed. Um, I go through the, the trim made a couple times uh, very gently just so I can feel the inside. I want to make sure that all of the necks are, are uh, prepared for a bullet and also cleaned up somewhat. All right, so we use uh, the handheld primer tool. Uh, the brass comes ready to do that. I uh, put the primer in, and uh, so I don't usually have any problems with that. And I just first start and get it to place, and then I go all the way in to where I feel like it's snug, and I let out. I go to the same place every single time. I check and I inspect, making sure that they all look the same. And I would go through them all, uh, all of them if I had them all done. So there you go, that's how we prime. Next, we'll set up the die for powder and um, um, seating the bullet. All right, so here we are with the load development. I am loading 195 EOLs primarily, and I'm also going to do some ELD match Hornady's. I have my auto trickler software over here on my tablet, as well as a spreadsheet which shows all of my load development for the uh, various calibers. And then in that spreadsheet, I'm able to continue to follow my loads um, with their velocity and uh, EDs and SA. Standard deviations and whatnot. But basically, um, I'm trying both of these. I've always shot the A195 EOL. It ended up being the best uh, when the gun was uh, new, uh, but I believe the barrel was basically shot pretty close to being out. And I am therefore going to try some new things um, and uh, some new, uh, not some new bullets, some bullets I had from before. But there it is, completed 7300. Uh, 300 wind mag neck down and my setup here okay. 
So what we're doing is, as the throat gets hotter, as you burn, um, uh, you get extremely hot. The rifling inside the throat, right out past the throat, actually burns out and extends the throat. It becomes a smooth bore, basically. An inch, two inches, three inches. And so you may have to do, or you may be able to do, some new load development. And you may be able to put your bullets out farther. Uh, you may be able to switch powders, switch velocities, and find a new uh, accurate uh, round for that barrel in its uh, season life. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm seeing if this barrel is any good at all, uh, using the existing load that I used before, as well as um, uh, some new loads and some new bullets. And so what I wanted to do is uh, load them up and process brand new brass um, and put it through the uh, resizing die and then come out here and shoot them. It is about 20 degrees. Uh, I've got about a 17 mile an hour crosswind, about nine o'clock. So over here on the left, I have two targets, which were Hornady 180 uh, match rounds, ELD match rounds, um, shooting around 2,900 feet per second. Used to be a great round, and they're terrible. Two MOA, maybe, is what these are looking at. And so then I switched to the 195 EOL burgers, which is what I, the gun used to shoot when it was you know, the first thousand rounds at a quarter MOA, and um, began to shoot those and. Went in one grain increments for my powder and eventually found um, some consistency. Um, the bottom line is I'm able to still shoot the gun. I don't know for how much longer, but it is shooting a quarter inch group. Um, this is a four shot group and it's quarter inch. It is more powder than I had before, and I am, but I am having the same bullet seating length. So bottom line is I have a very seasoned barrel and I found a load that will still shoot and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I thought the barrel was shot out. Everything I was shooting was not doing well and here I proves that I found a new load that's going to get me a little bit more life. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment any questions or anything that you might want to see and uh, forward forever and never. Thank you. Enjoy.